Hi, my name is T. Payton, and I wanted to show you a brief clip swapping or clip replacement technique that I found in Final Cut 10 that hopefully will be useful. Now, one thing you might not be aware of, well, if you've used Final Cut 10, you probably are aware of this. The replace edits in Final Cut 10 are not like replace edits in Final Cut 7. And it makes it a little bit difficult to work with, but I think I found a workaround that adds just about one step that should prove useful. So here's a little project that is supposed to be taking place in Egypt. And we have added a pyramid and a sphinx to help sell the shot a little better. So over here I've got a couple of replacements already going on, but here's one more that I need this particular shot. Now I've got a lot of things going on. Adjustment layer up here. Here's some dialogue and some ambient river stream kind of things in addition to sound effects. I've got an L and J cut happening on this particular shot. So I want to preserve as much of this as I can. And as you probably know, if you just drag this on here and do a replace edit, it's going to extend the shot. It doesn't pay attention to the time or even what frame we were on when we were replacing or when we were um, using up here in the browser. So this isn't exactly what we need. In fact, it's nothing of what we need. So I'm going to undo, undo it a couple more, a few more times there. Didn't mean to do that. But let's look at another technique of how to replace this shot. So first of all, let's let's identify a location, kind of like what we do in Final Cut 7. So right before she stands up here, okay, look, her lips are together, and let's move just one frame. There, okay, right where her mouth opens. That's a good place to edit. So I'm going to hit a marker there. And the other thing I'm going to do is hit an I for N. Now, you don't have to set the marker. I'm doing it just to double check my work. Interesting what Final Cut 10 does when you set an in point. It automatically sets an out point at the end of the clip. Let's go back up here to the browser and we're going to do the same. So let's, let's find that portion right before she stands up. Okay, and then her lips are together. Great. Okay, perfect. Now, is that the right point? I don't really know. Since Final Cut 10 doesn't have two, doesn't have a source and a viewer window, how do you flip between the two? Well, actually, it's fairly easy. Command 1 shows the browser. Command 2 shows the timeline. And as you can see, my playhead is in exactly the same place. We just now have the pyramid and the sphinx up there. So Command 1 and 2 to flip between the two. So let's go back up to Command 1. I'm going to hit a marker just so I remember that point, and then I'm going to hit I for the endpoint. Now here, I don't want to actually do um, a standard overwrite edit, which would be like a three-point edit here, because I want to keep this audio. What I'd rather do is do a connected clip edit, which is you can hit this or you can hit Q. Now, it's going to put it at the top of the stack. Let's pull it back down here. Now, to, to finish this shot, I am going to select the head of that clip. Let me turn off skimming. And I'm going to move over to the previous edit. And I'm going to hit Shift X to extend that edit. And I'm done. As am I. So it works out well. The audio is in sync. And we have our sky replacement to help sell this shot. Now, one other way you might need that to do this is replacing on the primary storyline instead of a connected clip. So let's go back to our marker here by hitting control semicolon. And now let's hit in again. And this time we have still have it selected in our browser, but let's just double check that we have everything correct by toggling command one and command two. So up in the browser, got that selected, timeline selected, I'm going to hit D for overwrite, or in this case, I'll just go to the menu and choose overwrite. Okay, so that effectively did kind of a three-point edit. So now I need to extend this. So the easiest thing to do is to slide this edit over. 
and let's try the same technique, Shift X. Okay. Now, you might notice something happening here. Well, the audio is still here. Why is the audio still here? And we've got this funky thing going on over here also. Well, if you zoom in on this little area, you'll see that I have a clip that is one frame long. And that is what the audio is attached to, and that's what that other funky clip is attached to also. So let's zoom back out here, and let's fix this issue. The thing to do is to actually delete this clip. But, you know, if you delete it, it's going to ripple. So hold down the Shift key as you delete. It's going to replace it with a gap. And now a gap, Final Cut knows that if you did a slip edit, it knows that you want to get rid of that gap. So I'm going to um, scoot over here, do the Shift X, and now that works just like I need it. So there's a couple techniques for doing some replace edits, especially in a situation like this that I hope proves helpful.